Cancer, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts. Pick a note. It doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Cancer, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms. He, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Pay it no mind. Feel the energy. And remember, roles can always be reversed. Cancer, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and I thank you again. All right, let's talk about your energy. Um, coming into your energy, extremely, extremely inspired. I feel so inspired. I don't know if you watched the TV show, you said a prayer, you uh, spoke to someone, but there's a, just an, there's an, my inspiration is ignited in your energy, you know? Like, I am not playing. I, that's how I feel in your energy. Like you're saying, I'm not playing. I'm not playing with this. I'm not playing with that. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for that. And you may have said this a million times before, but you know this time in this moment in time, you are definitely standing on business. i tell you that, okay? Second thing coming into your energy was a dolphin, which I was surprised because I'm not usually a person to, you know, animals aren't really my uh, specialty as far as uh, explaining the energy of a dolphin. But I remember talking to you guys before about, I felt like somebody around you was kind of downplaying your drive or your intellect in some way, shape or form. And it's like the dolphin, I can literally see a dolphin talking, you know, the dolphin talk, making the noises. But if, if it's, if I can remember correctly about what I've seen on TV, they're extremely intelligent, okay? And if, unfortunately, um, it's not something that's spoken about a lot. We kind of more so hear about the ferocity of a shark than we do the intellect of a dolphin, you know? So um, that, I, that energy, it's like your intellect, I think, is being um, acknowledged or shown accept it, you know, things like that. It's like, oh, wow, you know, cancer. I didn't know cancer knew all that, saw all that, been around that whole time. It's kind of like maybe you observed the scene the whole time and you're saying, listen, this is how it all began or this is how it started. Like, you know what happened because you may have not said something before, but it wasn't because you weren't paying attention, you know? So let's see what's going on. We're pulling from the Awakened Soul for your oracle today. Can I have cancer, please? Please and thank you. This is the last one. I'm hearing it. Never mind. There it is. I just said it. I said, it's like you were observing, but now you have it all put together. You literally pull silence and connections. You're connecting the dots. You have the information, you know. You might not have said anything, but you know you, had the, you have the keys, you understand? And wisdom is coming in. There's something here about an energy of intellect, an energy of knowledge, and you know wisdom is the application of knowledge but it took for you to observe for a while you know what you needed to see vision is coming in behind that intuition coming in third eye activation okay now this i think has a lot to do with life changes so um because dream is coming in after that that's more so about now that i understand this you know, now that I've made these connections and I know what I need to do, 
let me tap in a little bit so that I can try to get some foresight on how not to let the old come back with release, you know, and how to be okay with being okay when I'm waiting for the new to come in, solitude to gain, okay? So let's jump into your spread and see if maybe we can get some details on that energy. I don't want those. Okay. Um, we're gonna do your spread today with light seers, which I didn't want to be honest with you, but like you, I'm trying to be obedient. Okay, so you really feel good. You feel, I feel, I'm so inspired. I'm so, I don't know another word for it. I want to say passion, but it's not really passion. I don't feel, I feel inspiration, you know? Can I have the core for cancer? What's at the center of this energy? Please and thank you. The Three of Swords, Hurt, Shame, Empty Promises, Broken Promises, Broken Dreams. The Knight of Cups is here with this. Um, I think that the center of this is the realization. Like I said, you've been putting things together about yourself, be it in your personal experience of life or in your social experiences okay even if you want to apply this for business it's like you made the connection of why your business maybe has not taken off the way you expect it by now and that hurts but now you know what to do okay or why it didn't work the first time let's say it like that crown this energy the crowning of six of wands. So there's nothing, there's nothing failed here. Okay. Even if it's business, there's no failure here. Take it as a victory um, because of what you've learned along this journey. The six of cups coming in with the six of wands. Yeah, this is growth. Okay. Stability, past life assistance, but it's still forward moving energy. All right with victory and success here. So you're b definitely being seen. You're being noticed for sure. What's working against the page of swords? All right. Sometimes we don't want to learn new things when we feel like we've learned enough. You know, it, the judgment is even, it's like, I, look, I had enough. I, I, I really don't want to see no more. I don't need to know no more. You know, I, I've seen enough. And sometimes that can work against us because the more information that you're taking in, remember the more the dots are connecting. So if you feel like you have enough dots and it seems like the dots keep coming, then that means that there's more to be seen. Where is this coming from? The past energy is a 10 of wands reverse. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Something freed you. That's why I said, coming into your energy, I felt so inspired, like I felt ready. Something freed you, Ten of Wands in reverse. You put the burdens down and you picked up shoulda, woulda, coulda's a little bit because it's like, why didn't I see it sooner? Why didn't I realize it before? Why didn't I do it then? But don't get stuck there. See what you see now, you know, take that in. Where are we going with this? Please and thank you. future energy. I have a nine of wands in reverse. I'm letting go. I am letting go. I am no longer standing by or protecting what I'm questioning. I'm letting go and I'm starting new. I'm unga bunga in my way through this thing called life. This is very fertile energy, birthing life changing events. It's abundant. It's extremely passionate. All right. And you're holding on to that boomstick with both hands, four of pentacles. Um, it may be an apology, I have to say that, but I don't think that, yeah, I don't think that the apology is kind of matching 
your drive. So it's kind of like if you had a coworker that was trying to sabotage you, then when they, whatever they did, it didn't work. It didn't break you. Okay. And you realize you might not know all the ins and outs of their sabotage, but you did notice something wasn't right with this business. Something, the, something wasn't right. And it's like, you realize it. And it's like, now I know what I need to do. So somebody might say, listen, I'm sorry. I meant to tell you blah, 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 blah from seven months ago. And you're like, you know what? It don't even matter because I'm out of here. And look at you going to get yours. You're going to get it. Six of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. You're saying, I'm, I know what I need to do. I know exactly now what I need to do. And as soon as you do it, boom, nothing but blessing. Now, you're going to look at this situation with your godly glasses, hangman energy, and you're going to see the devil in the midst. Okay, you're, and it's gonna and, and look at you walking right away from it. It's like as soon as you identify this culprit, this Judas, okay, energy, you're gonna walk right away from it as you should into your growth, into your stability, into your leveling up of life, into your belief, your culture, whatever it is, and you're gonna celebrate that because you know that you're becoming a better, um, uh a better higher existence in this thing called life. Okay. This comes of course with what you want, which is what you want. It was stability, that home, that house, that car, you know, um, that future legacy energy that you've been working on. And it's been a rough ride because it seems like every time you got a nickel, you had to work so hard, so hard to try to make it a quarter, you know, but now that you've figured out that you've been fighting something that you didn't realize that was there, Queen of Swords to the Five of Wands, you're saying, okay, let me take care of what I need to take care of, okay? The Queen of Pentacles addresses home, you know, the home, the stability of the home, the soil of the garden, things like that, okay? And that frees you. It frees you. It gives you a realization with the sun. You're happy about being free. You're happy about being aware. You're happy about now understanding. And that is leaving now so much room for you to start actually manifesting what you said you was going to do in the first place, which is I'm going to live my best life. And even if I trip and fall and do it, I'm going to sell and I'm going to have fun while I'm doing it. I am going to live my, I'm going to celebrate. I'm going to do it. Okay. And you're doing it with all love. I don't feel malice in your energy. I don't feel malice in your heart. Even if you have to deal with somebody you love to be free, you know, you're saying it's not that I don't love you. It's just that I'm loving me. And now I see that, uh, you loved me in a different way than I loved you, or, you know, you were different to me as a coworker than I was to you. You know what I'm saying? So cancer, will you heal from this? Absolutely. Will justice be served on your behalf? Absolutely. Mother loving lutely. And are you going to be your best self? Absolutely. Mother loving lutely. Yes. Okay. Yes. Are you still a cancer? Uh, you, yes. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but you get ready to have a heck of a run, but life continues. So you still sometimes reach that crossroads like, oh, I really don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What do I do? What do I do? To a source of the seven of pentacles, this is a serious mind, mind screw here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Cause it's like, you're saying, look, God, I, I don't know what to do. You tell me what to do and I'll do it. So instead of God telling you what to do, God gives you some options with the seven of pentacles. Like you can invest in this or you can walk away and start someplace else and either get your right person or get on your right path with the lover's energy. And you're like, um, but I messed up before, you know, or what about the family? Ten of cups. All right. But I know I'm supposed to be you know, center stage. I know I'm supposed to be in the limelight, but at the same time, you know, I got these people in my head talking. I got these bills. I got this, I got that. So you're getting all of these information. And sometimes it feels like information overload. Sometimes you feel like it slows you down when you move too fast. And then other times it feels like everything is just a party because you're taking control. Okay. Be okay with that. That's part of life. There's ups, there's downs. There's the summer, there's the winter. 
Sometimes it's the fall and the spring. So be okay with being okay. But let's normalize bringing an end to the turmoil, bringing an end to the overthinking. Let's normalize, yeah, I was in my head for a minute. I was in my bag for a minute, but now I'm back. You know, I'm back on the wall. I'm back on the ball. I've had this divine intervention. My frequency is uplifted. My vibration is high. And I am just calling in nothing but abundance and elevation and prosperity and joy and peace into my life because I, now I'm, I've learned a hard truth. You understand? And this is setting you free. Setting you free, my love. So, Cancer, if I know anything i know that looking at this broken heart in the center of this reading is hard to see but i also know that it's taking you to a beautiful place of healing of wholeness um and you're worth it you know you've definitely put your time in you've put your time in so now it's time to move on all right all right. I hope this helps. Now, if any event you say, listen, green eyes, I don't know you. You don't know me. This is not my life. I'm okay with that. Please check your moon, check your rising. Don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else. Okay. Everybody thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free and it does support the channel. If you're interested in a personal appointment, I respond to email requests only. My email is perfectlyimperfecttarot at gmail.com. If you do like what you get here and it feeds your spirit, you want to sow a seed, donation information is below the videos. Just hit more and it should list that information. Other than that, guys, remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.